Hello everyone, today in Sankhi's cookery we are going to see how to prepare a melagu kolumbu. Melagu kolumbu is nothing but a pepper based kolumbu. So this is a traditional kolumbu recipe and it is a very healthy and tasty and also very nutritious. So this can be prepared either with garlic or without garlic and this particular kolumbu since it has got basic ingredient as the peppercorns it is extremely useful at the time of winter or if you are catching a cough or a cold it is extremely a great treat to your taste buds so before we look into the procedure as to how to prepare the melaga kolumbu if you are watching my video for the first time we would request you all to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon for further interesting recipes and notifications so the ingredients to be roasted for the melaga kolumbu are i have taken 1 teaspoon of jeera 1 teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of tuar dal. So I am going to dry roast all the three ingredients. First I am going to dry roast the tuar dal. Black pepper, as well as jeera. You need to dry roast until the pepper and jeera splatters. So the jeera and pepper has dry roasted. So we transfer this to a plate. Now I am also going to add some curry leaves. Curry leaves have got dry roasted. Transfer this also to the plate. So I am just heating up a pan. So you can either do it in a non-stick kadai. But more preferably if you do it in a kalchatti. That is a stone vessel. It will add taste to it. Today I am using the non-stick pan. So I am adding some gingerly oil or the nalanai. We call it as. Once the oil gets heated up. I will be adding the mustard seeds. So after the mustard seeds begin to splatter, I am adding some fresh curry leaves. I will also be adding some garlic. Let it fry for a few minutes. Some acetatidia, around 1 teaspoon. While the garlic is getting fried, we will grind the roasted ingredients by adding a little bit of water. So I am adding the ground paste. I will also be adding some water in the mixy jar and we will be adding it in the dish. Meanwhile, I have also soaked some tamarind in hot water. This is roughly about a big lemon size. I will be adding some more water and I will be adding it in the dish. It is a good practice to filter the tamarind film so that the dust and the stone does not form inside the gravy. So use a big filter. Let the masala get cooked in the tamarind water. I will also be adding some jaggery to stabilize the taste. And also adding some salt as per taste. We can also keep this in simmer so that it becomes thick. And close this and cook for a few minutes. So after 5 minutes, after 5 to 10 minutes, we see the gravy has become thick. At this stage, we can switch off the gas. So finally, I'm just going to add a few drops of gingerly oil as a final garnishing and just some fresh curry leaves. So the very tasty winter special Malibu Kolumbu is ready. This can be had any time of the day but especially during the winters it's definitely handy. I hope you'll try out this recipe and if you like it please share it with your friends and families. Have a nice spicy day.